<laughs> yeah. Big change. Yeah. Uh, it seems like your team is finding some different ways to win hockey games from grinding out tight ones and coming from behind here. Uh, feels like this was a confident win tonight. Would you, would you agree with that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we did a, a really good job fighting off their storm there on the power play with a couple of goals. Uh, we didn't get discouraged. We uh, battled back, set ourselves up, uh, you know, with the second period going into the third, and I thought we did a great job finishing. It seems like, uh, I'm not sure if it's if it's 11 forwards, or but it feels like everybody's really involved right now. You know, you got depth scoring, you got guys that started on that, you know, pairing on the fourth line that are thoroughly engaged in the game. Do you sense that in the group? Yeah, I think everybody's engaged. I think everybody's contributing. There was probably no better uh, example uh, in this four-game winning streak probably than tonight. Um, and like I said, it was, it was a good test for our group getting down early, a couple of goals and sticking with it and sticking our game plan. Evander, there's a lot of talk about people need continuity, but when you have 11 forwards, that doesn't necessarily always work. Is it exciting at times, like you're going out with different guys every few shifts? Does that keep you on your toes in a sense? Uh, well, it keeps, keeps you on your toes in terms of you got to nose up, but... Um... No, I think, I think when you're all playing the same way and we all have the same mindset, it's easy to play with anybody. And, and I think that's what we're doing right now and one of the reasons we're having success. Well, congratulations. I think you're the first second unit power play guy to score a goal all season here. Um, <laughs> did you... This has been a team where the first unit plays for a minute or, or for a minute 45 quite often. There wasn't much before you were here, particularly, Vander. There wasn't much time for the second unit. Tonight, the second unit started a power play. Uh, is that a sign that maybe there's a bit of a change going on here? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think, um, you know, I kind of flip-flop between the first and second. Me, Jesse, and Himes uh, kind of rotate a little bit there, and, and then the other guy goes out for the second unit. I think, uh, obviously, we had some success tonight early. Um, and, uh, you know, decided to put us out there. I think, you know, having depth and having different looks and, and, and options are, is great. Obviously, uh, you know, Connor and Leon are going to get their time and, and deservingly so. So, um, you know, I, I think it's great to be able to play with, uh, with anybody on the power play and uh, hopefully it can continue to, to be productive for us. You've played with some really top, top players and you've been a top player. Is it, is it important to... to sort of support the top players as much as it is to rely on them like Connor and Leon are really 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 good but they need to have everyone underneath them helping them if this team's going to get anywhere is that fair to say well yeah this this league is, is it's not like the NBA where you can have two guys and you can win a cha championship right um you know you, you you see how hard it is to win and, and the teams that win uh don't always have the best players so you know it's important for everybody to contribute and everybody to uh you know pull their weight and and uh and be a part of the team um obviously it's they're great assets to have because they can break a game open at any moment but uh you know I I think uh, you're seeing our team start to really gel, and um, we got to keep this thing going. Thanks, guys.